Let's begin in easy pose, sitting up tall, long through the neck, shoulders down, hands resting on your knees or in your lap. Slow down your breath and close your eyes if you want to. Going into some neck stretches, look over to one side. Then the other. Down. Then up, tilt ear to shoulder. You can gently place your hand on your head here for a deeper stretch. Then over to the other side. Half circles down, back and forth. To full circles, alternating directions, being careful on the upward rotation. with your hands on your knees, going into shoulder circles back. Then placing your hands on your shoulders, circle the elbows forward. With your palm or full forearm down, stretch over to one side. Then the other. Return to seated and switch your leg position, bringing the opposite leg forward. Go into a twist, opposite hand to knee. Keep your back hand close to your body to help you sit up taller, looking back over your shoulder. Repeat on the other side.
coming out of the twist, hands on your knees, exhale and round out your back to seated cat pose. Then inhale to seated cow, continue flowing with your breath. Continue the cat-cow type movements while drawing circles with your navel one way. Returning to seated, interlace your fingers behind your back, drawing the hands down and lifting the chest. Release and reach forward, folding over your crossed legs. Extend your legs to staff pose. Place your hands behind your hips, pressing into the mat and drawing your chest up once more. Straightening up. Inhale your arms overhead, then exhale to a forward fold, bending your knees as much as you want to. As you release, draw your right leg in, foot flat, knee pointing up. Twist to the right, drawing the left arm to the outer edge of your right leg, fingers pointing up. Stay long through the back and neck as you look over your shoulder behind you, making sure to keep the left foot flexed, toes pointing up. As you untwist, draw your right arm to the inside of the right leg, grabbing onto the outer edge of the left foot with your right hand. Keep the right knee in close to your body, left hand resting on the mat beside you. Continue holding this position or option to bind, drawing the right arm across the front of the right leg, left arm behind your back, 
clasping hands and opening up through the left side, shoulder and chest. Release and repeat on the other side beginning with a twist. Pulling the left leg in, knee up, twist to the left, drawing the right arm to the outer edge of the left leg. Sit up tall, long through the neck, gaze back over your shoulder, keeping the right foot flexed. Release, bringing the left hand to the outer edge of the right foot, left leg in close to your body. Hold here or option to bind. Release the bind, then bring the left knee down to the side, left foot tucked into the right leg. Go into a forward fold, reaching for the right foot or ankle. As you sit up, pull the left leg up and in towards your chest, resting the lower part of the leg in your elbow bends, palms together. Release and repeat on the other side. Extend the left leg, then pull the right foot up to the inside of the left thigh. Going into a forward fold. Sitting up and hugging your right leg in towards your body. Release, with both knees bent and pointing up, lift the feet to a half boat pose. You can hold on beneath the knees or release your hands to the sides of your legs. Keeping the feet hovered, hug your knees to your chest and hold.
Lower your feet and extend the right leg up, pulling it in as close to you as you feel comfortable. Place the right ankle across the left thigh, opening up through the right hip as you press your body forward towards your legs. Release the right foot down and extend the left leg up. figure four stretch on the left side. Release the legs, coming to a seated, bound angle pose. Hold on to the feet, sitting up tall as you draw your knees down and hold. Release the legs to a wide angle pose, adjusting the hips as you feel necessary. Begin to reach forward. You can lower down to your forearms or fold down further, pulling your chest down towards the mat. You can continue to reach forward or reach for your toes or your ankles instead. Stretching over to one side, make your way to a wide-legged, revolved head-to-knee pose. As an alternative, you can simply reach over to one side, bringing the opposite arm up and over, stretching as deeply as you want to. sweeping through to stretch over to the opposite side.
Release to seated and shift to a front split starting on your least flexible side. Option to place a block beneath your front leg for support. Make sure to keep your hands planted firmly at your sides to prevent you from stretching beyond your current range of motion. Focus on keeping your hips squared off to the mat, even if that means you're not coming down quite as low. Make your way over to the other side. Come to seated with your knees bent and pointing up. Going into cow face pose, pull your right foot under your left leg, then stack your left knee over the right. Place your left hand behind your back up as high as you can toward your neck. Raise the right arm straight up, then bend the right elbow. If your fingers can touch, clasp your hands behind your back. Stay seated up tall, long through the neck. If your fingers don't touch, Avoid folding forward or rounding out the back to join them. Simply reach long through both hands and with time and practice you may develop the range of motion to get there. Until then there's the option of using a yoga strap to connect the hands if you wish. Release the hands slowly and carefully and bring the legs back to the starting position. This time, draw the left foot under the right leg, stacking the right knee over left. Right hand behind your back, left arm goes straight up, bending at the elbow to clasp hands if you can. Remember to sit up tall and breathe. with control. Bring your leg to a half hero pose, internally rotating at the hip, keeping the knee in line with the center of your body as much as possible, foot close to your hip. Extend the right leg up, clasping with both hands under foot or around the lower leg, bending the knee as much as you want to. Repeating on the other side, take your time getting into position. Release, bringing the legs to a full hero pose. Option to sit on a block if you prefer. Keep the knees together as much as possible and tuck your feet in close to your body. Reach your hands behind your back to reverse prayer or if you prefer you can simply clasp at the elbows.
Release, folding your right leg in front of you to go into compass pose on the left side. Place your left hand to the inside of the left leg, then reach the right hand to the outer edge of the left foot as you begin to elevate it behind the left arm, straightening out the leg as much as you can. Once extended, open up your torso and gaze towards the right. Release with control, then repeat on the other side. Return to seated as we continue to lotus pose. Bring the top of the left foot as close to the right hip fold as possible. Open up the left hip so that the left knee is down on or close to the mat. Only if your mobility allows, place the top of the right foot on the left thigh as close to that hip fold as possible. Hold where you are able to progress to or option to float to scale pose. You can use blocks here to make your arms a bit longer or contract the abdominals more to pull the hips up further. Lower or release with control and repeat on the other side. Release and return to easy pose. Inhale, arms up and exhale, palms together, heart center. Thank you for practicing with me today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.